Yep. So we're going to talk um, with seasonal affective disorder, shall we begin with that? Yeah, well the, the clocks have gone back and for many people when the clocks go back the mood goes black. Mm. And Seasonal affective disorder, SAD, qu quite a nice name but it actually stands for seasonal affective disorder. A disorder that affects your moods seasonally. So when the days get shorter and less sunlight you start to feel lethargic, depressed, mm. um, uh, increasing craving for starchy carbohydrate food and for some people this can be quite o overpowering uh, especially the low mood and, and depression. What, what do you do? What's your, what's your recommendation to get over it as much as you can? Well, well I think first of all identify that's what you've got and, and maybe discuss it with your GP but the um, the situation is, if you have got true seasonal affective disorder, the use of light boxes have, has been shown to be very effective. That's a light of a certain intensity, which you can have just on your desk or a table for half an hour to an hour each morning and just do some work. And the light going into the eyes, and this is the problem with seasonal affective disorder, there's less light, less sunlight mm -hmm. going into your eyes, and therefore parts of your brain called the hypothalamus and pineal gland aren't being stimulated. So you get a decrease in seasonal serotonin which is the feel-good chemical yeah. so that goes down and there's an increase in another hormone called melatonin which is a sleep hormone goes up so the combination of the sleepiness and the low mood that's you know seasonal affective disorder it's interesting you know, in northern Scandinavia they call this cabin fever because mm. they get very little sunlight yeah. and the guys get this severe depression and just they're, they're in bed all the time they can't be bothered doing anything mm. lots of interest and everything around them.